Hey, it's Angry Admin here. Today I've got a super simple beginner Python project for you. We're going to encrypt and decrypt a secret message using real cryptography. No, we're not hacking the Pentagon. We're just learning the basics of how modern encryption works. We're using the cryptography library, specifically the Fernet class. If you don't have it yet, run pip install cryptography in your terminal. One time setup and you're good to go. I'm wrapping everything in a function called demo cipher. First thing we do is ask the user for a secret message. This keeps it interactive and fun, especially if you're just starting out. Step one of any encryption system is the key. Here we call fernet.generateKey. This gives us a random, secure key that we'll use for both encrypting and decrypting the message. This is called symmetric encryption. Same key for both sides. Next, we feed that key into fernet to create a cipher object. Think of this as our personal encryption machine, configured with that specific secret key. Now the fun part, Encryption. Fernet expects bytes, not plain text, so we first call message.encode utf8. Then cipher.encrypt returns a long, ugly looking token. That's your message, but scrambled so that only someone with the same key can read it. We print it out so you can see how unreadable it is. To prove this actually works, we immediately decrypt it. Cipher.decrypt encrypted gives us the original bytes, and then dot decode utf8 converts those bytes back into human readable text. If everything is wired up correctly, the decrypted message should match exactly what you typed at the start. And finally, the classic Python main guard, so when we run this file, demo cipher is executed. I'll run the script, type a secret message, uh, there's the original, there's the encrypted gobbledygook, and there's the decrypted result coming back perfectly. And that's it, a beginner-friendly Python cryptography project you can build in just a few minutes. You've learned how to generate a key, encrypt a message, and decrypt it back using cryptography.fernet. If this helped you, hit like, drop your questions in the comments, and of course, check out the repo, grab the code, and break things in your own lab. I'm Angry Admin, see you in the next beginner project, where we'll break something else on purpose.